The Christmas Star and the Little Wanderer. Every Christmas Eve, as the moon and the stars prepare to shine upon the most magical night of the year, the Celestial Moon Palace became aglow with warmth and Christmas joy. Lights twinkled from every window. The Christmas trees were lit with flickering candles. Glass fruits, fluttering fairies, trumpets, dolls, rocking horses, and all manner of silver and golden balls adorned its branches. But there was nothing more magical than what took place every Christmas Eve at the foot of the giant Christmas tree in the ballroom. Mother Moon sat surrounded by all the twinkling stars on a carpet soft as snow. Will you tell us the story of the Christmas star? asked the stars. Mother Moon laughed. <laughs> of course, my dears. The little stars moved closer, and Mother Moon closed her eyes and began her tale. Once upon a snowy Christmas Eve night, a long, long time ago, there was a little boy without a place to call home. Mother Moon spoke in a soft, melodic voice. The little boy walked down the dark streets, huddled into his worn-out clothes. The streets were filled with people. Mothers and fathers carried bags of presents. Rosy-cheeked children laughed as they played in the park. Couples ice skated on the frozen lake, holding hands as they smiled and gazed lovingly into each other's eyes. Rattling carriages rolled by, horse-drawn buggies clippity-clopped down the stone-paved streets, and even wooden carts trampled down the crowded avenues. The entire city looked as if in a hurry and great anticipation for Christmas morning and what Father Christmas would bring them. But not the little boy, for he seemed to wander and wander up and down the streets without a place to call home. No one noticed the lonely, sad little boy, only Jack Frost, who nibbled the end of the boy's toes through the holes in the shoes he wore and merrily laughed as he sent a chilly north wind blowing the boy's way. Can there be some joy for me to find this night? The little boy asked himself as he passed the brightly lit houses. House after house he passed. Through their windows, the boy saw the tall evergreen trees and the happy families helping to decorate them with twinkling streams of lights, colored balls, and ornaments of Santa, snowmen, and snowflakes. The boy stopped at a house where he saw two children decorating a lovely tree. Smiling parents brought bundles of brightly wrapped presents into the room and Christmas music played from the speaker by the fireplace. The boy wished he could have something like that one day. Perhaps this is the night, the boy thought. The family looked so happy and friendly. Surely they wouldn't turn him down. With a heart full of hope, the boy rang the doorbell once, twice. By the third ring, the father opened the door and frowned at the small child with dirty old clothes who stood at his doorstep. Go away! We have nothing for the likes of you in this house, the man said, and quickly slammed the door. The boy walked down the steps and onto the street. The wind pushed against him and made his nose and fingers tingle. The boy looked at the dark sky and the twinkling stars that were beginning to shine upon it. He spotted a golden star. It was very tiny, but to the boy, the star shined brighter than any other that night. Burrowing deeper into his worn-out coat, with the stuffing poking out from many small holes, the boy kept his eyes on the star and said, Oh Christmas star, I don't ask for riches, gifts, or even a new coat and pair of shoes. All I wish is for a loving family and a warm home to spend this Christmas Eve night. Please, if you can make one single wish come true, make this wish be so for me. The star flashed brighter three times. The boy shook his head and told himself that he imagined it. He walked on, gazing longingly at the happiness within each home, the beautiful Christmas trees and all those presents. The boy had never known such joy, but for just one night, 
He wished he was part of a place where he was loved. Snow clouds covered the sky, but the twinkling star kept glowing brightly. As the first snowflakes fell, the boy decided to follow the star. For if there were a little magic and joy that night, he would find it with the star, not in the homes of men. He passed many more houses. The smell of cinnamon, ginger, peppermint, and pine flowed in the air, creating a cloud of Christmas delight all over the town. But the boy walked on, not minding the snow or the thinning houses and now empty streets. At last, exhausted, the boy stopped by a small house. It was worn down, leaning to one side, and looked more like a cottage than a grand home. A single light bulb flickered by the window, and the boy crept closer. Looking inside, he saw the place was tiny and dark. A candle was placed on a broken teacup, and beside it, a pine branch with bundles of berries, cotton balls, and paper stars rested. Inside the home, by the fading fire, a mother and two small children sat. They were huddled together and didn't dress as elegant as the other families in the city. They looked to be an impoverished family. But the boy saw so much love in their faces, his heart warmed from the sight of them. As he looked up, searching for the golden star, he found it twinkling right over the little house. The boy tapped lightly on the door, but nothing happened. For at that moment, the wind howled wildly. He tapped a little louder, hope blossoming in his heart with every tap. Inside the house, the mother got up and walked over to the door. The boy was about to tap a third time when she slowly opened the door. Before the boy could say anything, the woman gasped. Oh, you poor darling, come in, come in. You must be so cold. The boy found himself wrapped in a loving embrace as the woman welcomed him in. Who is it, Mama? The children asked. A poor darling without a place to call home on this magical night. The woman explained, bringing the boy into the warm room. Oh, Mama, let's share some of our Christmas with him. Can we please? The children eagerly asked. The mother laughed and nodded. The children rushed into another room and came back with some hard bread, a few slices of cheese, and what looked like the leftovers of warm yet straightforward and tasty soup. Thank you, the boy said, overwhelmed with joy and love. He wished to thank the golden star too, but as he looked out the window, a magnificent sight greeted his eyes. The golden star floated into the room, bathing it in its warm golden light. Suddenly, in a shower of sparks, it turned into a beautiful maiden, dressed in a snow-white dress with a silvery cape and hair as golden as the star she'd been. Joy isn't found in riches or gifts under a Christmas tree, nor in warm clothes, pretty shoes, or a table full of the world's tastiest dishes. Joy is found in the simplest things, in the kindest of actions, and deep within your hearts. For this, may this and every one of your Christmases be merry from this night on said the star in a voice as beautiful as a silver bell. Without another word, the maiden vanished, and the golden star returned to the evening sky. From that day on, the little family and the boy lived happily, and never again had to spend a lonely Christmas. For poor as they were, their house was radiating with joy and love. Mother Moon finished her story with a smile. The little stars sighed and clapped in delight, for each of them dreamed they could bring joy to a little boy or girl's heart on that night as Santa did.